Hello everyone. Uh, this video is dedicated to an artist, two artists, who have really changed the way I see electronic music. And those two artists are Rod Modell and Stephen Hitchell. Rod Modell was known as Deep Chord and Stephen Hitchell was known as um, Soltech, also Intrusion. And these two basically really got me more into electronic music more than I ever was. And they're also somewhat mystic to me, partially because there's not all that much information on them available. Most of their releases don't really come with covers, they're just kind of blank singles like that. So they're, they're both from Detroit, which is basically the mecca of techno. And uh, in 2007, they basically started a label called Echo Space together. Before that, they, they've been making music, remixing music since sometime in the 90s. Again, there's not much information on, on when they really started making music, but they've been doing it for a long time. And uh, so in 2007, they started their label Echo Space. They also released a debut album, which was called The Coldest Season. They released this album on a label called Modern Love. And uh, this is an EP, part one EP. They released uh, four EPs of the album on vinyl. The album itself is just released on CD, so I don't have that, but that's part one of The Coldest Season. And this album just really, really made a big impact on me. It could be described as um, ambient, dub, techno, any combination of those three terms, really. And uh, other than that, their music is all made of, made with analog equipment. So that kind of makes the vinyl experience more appropriate in this case. And uh, it it's, has a lot of hisses in it, has a lot of um, bass beats, lots of the melodies in the bass. That's kind of why it's described as dub. And um, yeah. Those three terms, ambient, dub, techno, I mean, that, that basically describes it really well. And one criticism that they actually get is that they sound a lot like Basic Channel. Lots of people think they're kind of like an, an offshoot or someone who's just kind of uh, copying Basic Channel and doing the same thing, but really, I don't think that's really true at all. They, they, they take their sound way beyond what Basic Channel was doing. Basic Channel was kind of mostly restricted to minimal techno and, and kind of branching out into ambient and dub kind of stuff, but um, Echo Space just takes it to a whole nother level with their music. So after, um, after that, that debut album, The Coldest Season, they started their own label and re released a bunch of EPs on that. But before they started that, they also released a few singles and such on other labels. This is Sonoris, with a, a dub version on the B side, or A A side it is there. This is on Fortune 8 Records, and just to show you the vinyl. They do release a lot of stuff on colored vinyl, which I also like. So you can see that's a kind of a reddish, pinkish clear. So that was on Fortune 8 Records. They released a few things on there. And uh, the next release I have, this is the first, the first release on their own Echo Space label. It's uh, the Vantage Isle Sessions by Deep Chord. So Deep Chord is the name of Rob Motel, without Stephen Mitchell, but very similar in sound, you know. And this one is a two LP set with a clear kind of, I don't know, a Coke, Coke bottle kind of color. Seven inch along with that. So the two, the two LPs are, are just black. That's Vantage Isle Session, strongly recommended that. This one, in addition to the coldest season, really got me into them. So this is, 
their fifth release on the Echo Space label. This is Grand Bend. This is also a deep chord. Although most of these releases have remixes by Intrusion, which is Stephen Hitchell, and Echo Space, they do a bunch of remixes of tracks. And when they do remixes, they're really remixing because the, they drop the beats, they change the beats, they do a lot to change the, the song itself. So sometimes, even when, when two songs may have the same source material, they could still sound way, way different. And even that Vantage Isle sessions I showed, that's basically 12 remixes of the same song, but it doesn't get boring, it doesn't get repetitive because there are so many different ideas going on in each different remix that it's, it's basically like an album of 10, of 12 different tracks, even though they all come from the same source song. So this is the sixth release on Echo Space Records. Spatial Dimensions, Black Vinyl. Still 2007. This is all of all of what I've shown so far was released in 2007. So I'm going chronologically here. Now this is their first in 2008. This is Intrusion and Reflection. The seventh release on Echo Space Records. This is a little insert for Echo Space. They also release albums from other artists on that label. And I haven't heard many of those, but I think they're mostly mostly ambient and I'm waiting to check those out. So this one, Intrusion Reflection, is on a kind of purplish vinyl. So also in 2000, 2008, um, Stephen Hitchell actually started something new with Intrusion. He was also known as Soltech, like I said. But he started an offshoot label on of Echo Space called Intrusion. And this was the first Intrusion release. It's Swana Dub, or Swana Dub, yeah, I think that's how you say it. So, this one is more dubby. I think it's they they really take their music in, in a more ambient or a more dubby direction oftentimes. And intrusion intrusion really likes to do that. Intrusion, I would say, is the more ambient and more dubby side of Echo Space. And Deep Chord is the more techno-ish side. So then this is 2009 now. This is the ninth release on Echo Space Records. Saline Stars, it's called. And this one also is a marbled vinyl. So they, they like to release colored vinyl a lot, and they're also often really limited. So it's it can be difficult to get a hold of some of this stuff, but if you act early, it's not too hard. They're not too pricey, unless you wait, of course. So this is the 10th release, Infinite One, by CB313 actually. Um, in 2009, they started releasing stuff as CB313. And I'm not exactly sure what the difference is between CB313 and Equispace. They both have the same members. And usually when you change your name like that, it's also kind of a stylistic change. But I'm not sure if I can really describe what the difference is here. So this is the 11th release. It's called Remodeled. Basically, it's a song called Subtractive that was remixed and remodeled. So this one actually has a remix by King Midas Sound and The Sight Below, which are two other artists you may be familiar with. So here's the next one, it's Seconds to Forever, also released in 2010, last year. This one features one of the longest songs ever released. It's called Beyond the Clouds, The Breeze. And it's basically a 23-minute ambient exploration with 
with kind of techno beats and that track is really incredible. That's one of the best songs they've released so far. And apparently it was recorded live, which, which is really, it, it's, it's really incredible. And for them to make that music live, I would love to be able to see them, but probably won't happen. I don't know. So this was also 2010. This one's called Vibrational Studies and Symbolism and Transition. This is a single that was released with their album The Human. Also released last year. This is their second full-length album. Actually, uh, when I ordered a couple of these online, the person I ordered from ordered them from included this um, promotional CD along with those. So that was really nice. I got this full-length album from them. So yeah, that's that's everything I got. I have that's about twelve releases, and they have many more. Um, I probably won't ever have a complete collection from them because they have so much remix remix work on other singles and stuff like that. But I'm building it, and someday, hopefully, it will be nearly complete. So yeah, I hope you know. If you're not all that interested in techno, I I can't say of course that you will like this music, but it could be a bit of a gateway into electronic music because it's very much it's really just as much ambient as it is techno. It's it's just as much dub as it is techno. It's not strictly techno music, but so I think it will appeal to a lot of people who are interested in and just interesting music, so it's worth checking out. If you just type in um, Echo Space on YouTube, you'll get a ton of results for things to check out. You'll get a good idea of what they sound like if you do that. So I recommend it. Definitely pick some of this stuff up if you ever see it. They, they've just been really important to me in recent years, so wanted to share those with you. Thanks for watching. Bye.